your dad and I are sitting on my couch in that triplex I had out in the valley, and he said, could I, could I feel your belly? And I said, sure, you know, and he, and you kicked. No, the first time or? The first time or anybody else. Oh, first time for you. Yeah. Right. And then we made love that night. <laughs> and we, uh, and that. he had to get up the next morning and catch a plane back to New York because his vacation was over and he was yeah. living with Erica Slasek. Right. Whoops. In, in, in the, yeah. Yeah, he was a player. So, well, he wasn't a player. Well, no, but no, he he, had, he he connected when he found he didn't a girl. Break up with her he, first. He, he was like that. you. He was very right. selective. He was uh, not a coxman. I can't say. No, I know. I'm very selective. Yeah, and you're not. Very you're not a coxman. You're a, a selective person, and who you want to make love. And with. I had not broken dad. up with everyone before. I, I can't say that. So yeah. Yeah. But then he went home and got rid of her. He went home. Well, no, went on, not immediately. So he went home, and that was the morning that Bill and Donna McKinney came and trimmed my tree. So I met That's McKinney. When you met Bill McKinney, right there. I met Bill McKinney and Donna the morning after your dad and I had our first. Date. That's a coincidence. Talk about circles. And I was like, because I was afraid when circles he circles being. Yeah. Bill McKinney is the first. My mom, my mom, my mom, because I like was tripping, and I was a kid, and I forbid my mom to date anyone when I was when they got divorced. And Bill McKinney was the first person that she dated. And of all, I mean, he was the country version of Tony. I, I remember give that. Me a break. I was like, yeah, yeah. But me and him ended up being cool. But yeah. and I'm gonna let you guys continue. That was yeah. I felt right at home. I mean. I immediately felt like a New Yorker, <laughs> you know. Be like I would, he would, I would, I would be going to get bagels and coffee, and you know, by myself, 15 years old, like, all right, Dad, I'm going, and no problem, and you know, knew my way around. He showed me immediately in Patchen Place and Coney Island, and <laughs> Greg, you know, all the me and Lenny Bruce used to kick it here and. We would run into Dustin Hoffman and Christopher Lo all these people, and this is where we, you know, and hmm. the Olympia Dukakis, and, you know, every, like, just everyone, you know, there was just, hmm. and just treat them, treat them like, well, they're just people, you know. No, no hmm. you know, no, I mean, if there was anyone who, if, I mean, if you ever saw my dad on stage, he was the actor of all actors. <laughs> you know, no. forget Bobber, Bobby D and Al Pacino and fucking all of these big names. You know, they happened to hit it, whatever. But when he worked, when he really worked on something, it was like, mm -hmm. you know, that's passion. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, major passion. Major passion. Really. Got to see him, got to see his preparation, got to see him go through his process and this really... made you feel like it was hard work. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it was not easy, for sure. Freaking hard work. Yeah, not easy. But he was, you know, and I think the last thing he did was, you know, it was like the closest character to his father that he played. Mm. So it was very... On stage, anyway. The last thing that he did, and it was very healing and hard and, you know, mm. very difficult for him to do, but he was just, no, I mean, nothing less than brilliant. And you were around acting classes and all that stuff that he did? Oh, uh, yeah, Wednesday nights was what? acting class night, and so I was, you know... Would try to make it as much as possible and go to acting classes, do some scenes and monologues and here and there, and rarely, you know, but just sit and watch and mm. see him teach. And he cared about everyone the same, you know, and it was like everyone come out, and come to his apartment after and hang, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was like a family, really. But. 
I think it's good. hard, be, you know. It's it's hard, like breaking people, because he I, I would associate that I watch him breaking people down in class and recall him breaking me down, yet you know at a younger age to get to let it to work it out, let mm-hmm. it out, get be associated with it, learn how to, you know, if you need to cry, cry. If you need to mm-hmm. be happy, be happy. If you need to. Be stressed out. Be stressed out. If you need to be, you know, in your game. But you got to be able to be it really before you can be. You can't, you can't act some of that stuff. You know, you got to just mm-hmm. be the, em- let the emotions go and like he used to say, just let it be. Let it be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was very lucky that I I had him in, in, in my life. Uh, you know, it's meant to be. It's like that picture you took that still of the of the article. They were meant to be together. You yeah. know, <laughs> such the truth. Such the truth. 